Yo, what's going on YouTube, Apox here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install New Vegas Script Extender Stable Version 4.5 through silverlock.org. And I will link this down in the description below so that you guys can come to this exact same page and make sure that you guys aren't confused. So anyways, this is actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it and you won't ever have to watch this video again, most likely. So you will indeed be able to just watch this once all the way through and then you should be good. Alright, so what we want to start off with is installing 7-Zip. So if you don't have 7-Zip or you don't have WinRAR, go ahead and do this right now. Follow me through this step. So anyways, I will put an annotation on screen to actually skip this step in case you guys already know what you're doing on this part of the tutorial. Anyways, to actually check to make sure that you have either a 32-bit or a 64-bit computer or system architecture, you want to go ahead and come down to the start button go to control panel, go to system and security and click on system. And then right here you will see system type 64 bit or 32 bit, or it might even say 32 bit and 64 bit. But I have a 64 bit, so we're gonna go ahead and download the stable version, not the beta version. We're gonna download the stable version and we're gonna download the 64 bit version. And we're actually gonna save it right onto my desktop here. And we can do so right now by hitting save. And you don't have to worry about that pop-up, it's because I already actually had it installed. And then from here we can actually go ahead and double click this, hit run. And then we can go ahead and hit next. And now since I've already installed it, I'm going to go ahead and go through this actually again. So just totally pretend you didn't see that modify and repair page. And as you guys can see right here, bam, we go ahead and hit next. And go ahead and install. Finish. And now you have 7-zip installed. So you can go ahead and actually delete the file that came along with it. And then from here we can actually download and install NBSE. So we can do so by coming back to this page, which will, like I said, be linked in the description below. We can download the stable version 4.5. And this may be a new version. If it is, please point it out to me and I can make a new video in case it's a little bit different. But anyways, let's go ahead and save this to our desktop here. And as you guys saw, that was a direct download. So as soon as you click this link, it'll ask you to download or it'll just download automatically. And we downloaded it to our desktop so we can go ahead and right click it. And if you installed 7-Zip, you go ahead and come to this drop down box and you can see extract here. And then you can extract it right to the desktop. I also have WinRAR, so if you have WinRAR installed, you can go ahead and just hit this button right here, extract here. But let's go ahead and show you guys 7-Zip since I showed you guys how to install that. So extract here and then it just extracts it here. We can go ahead and open this up and put it to the side. And then what we're actually going to want to do now is open up our Follow New Vegas directory. So to do this, go to computer and then we can actually bring this to the side as well. And then we can go local disk, program files 86, find Steam. And then inside of Steam, go Steam apps and then common and then follow New Vegas. And then from here, what you wanna do is copy the files that are not the .txt files, and you don't wanna copy the source file or folder either, because the source folder is just in case you actually know what you're doing, and if you're modding your game, and you wanna know how to get your mod working with NVSE. So that is what the source folder is for. You don't need it, it won't harm anything, and it won't cause any differences but you do not need it and it will save you a few extra I think gigabytes or something but we can go ahead and drag this over and you should have what looks like to be six files right here and then we can go ahead and actually delete the remaining files and the 7-zip file itself and then what we can do now is actually either run the NVSE underscore loader or if you have mod organizer installed you want to go ahead and open up mod organizer and one thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure you run your game through the launcher first before ever running NVSE. So what I mean by this is if you just did a fresh install, I suggest running your game first as vanilla and then trying NVSE. Because if you straight up try NVSE, then it won't properly download all your actual files and all your any files and it may mess up. I have already experienced this issue. So just I suggest you guys running the launcher at least once making sure everything is good and set up and then 
you can go ahead and do NVSE. So anyways, you can see that Model Organizer automatically detects that NVSE is indeed there, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we can go ahead and hit Run. And as you guys can see, the game is launching. And then I'm going to show you guys how to make sure that NVSE is indeed working properly. And it's actually just a simple command. So all you want to do is open up your console. And you can do this by hitting the tilde key. You can search it up for yourself. Uh, in case you live somewhere else, I believe it's different for maybe the United Kingdom. I'm not quite sure. I know there's one location that definitely has a different console command key just in general. But I'm not quite sure where that is located. I live in Canada, so it's just the tilde key that's right below the escape button, right above the tab button, and right to the left of the one. So we can go ahead and hit that. And if you're having any problems with opening up the console, let me know down in the comment section below, and I can definitely help you out. Uh, but anyways, we have this little line pop up here, and we can go ahead and type in get NVSE version, and hit enter. And then you can see NVSE version 4. And that means it is working correctly, but if an error pops up, then you definitely did something wrong. And you want to make sure that you follow the tutorial properly. You can do that by simply just watching it through one more quick time. And if you did indeed do everything correctly, feel free to comment down below and I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. But anyways guys, hope you guys are enjoying all the tutorials here on my channel. If you are, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight. It would be super, really appreciated. And as always guys, this has been Epoxy and don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming. I'm out. Peace.